Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet. And even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. It is run by Kate, come and be her guest at the junction. And that's Uncle Joe, he's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. That's a record. This is a second telegram this week. Wow. It ain't for you. Well, is it for you? Well, then how come you get to read it and we don't? <laughs> yeah, flat head, I'm the telegrapher. If I don't read the message, how's it going to get through? It makes sense, Floyd. Okay, Sam, you can read it. <laughs> Great opportunity. Join me. Rush. Answer. Sign. Max. Max. Wow, this is important. Rush this right out to the Shady Rest and give it to Steve Elliott personally. You can depend on us, Sam. <laughs> now, let's see you steam that open once you're on the train. <laughs> Steve Elliott? Oh, fine, boys. I'll take it. Are you Steve Elliott? Do I look like Steve Elliott? What do you think, Charlie? Give me the wire. No, sir. Our business was to deliver this telegram direct. And neither rain, sleet, nor hail, nor... Didn't say nothing about apples. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, boys. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. There they go, Fatso's Incorporated. <laughs> eat, 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 when they shouldn't be working. Kate, I'll be out on the swing if you need me. <laughs> What's in the telegram? Oh, it's for Steve Elliott, and it's personal. It's probably for the Carson Elliott dynasty. In the absence of the vice president, the president gets to open the company mail. <laughs> Joe? Kate, you didn't think I was going to steam this open, did you? Well, That's I... That's crude, and it's obvious. <laughs> Don't. I'm going to give this to somebody I can trust. Here, boy, you take this to Steve and deliver it direct and personal. Sam Drucker must have known it was going to get to you. Why else would he have stapled it together? <laughs> I haven't got time to play with you right now, boy. <laughs> Hey. Oh, for me? Well, thank you. Say, if Sam Drucker's gonna use you for a Western Union boy, the least he could do is buy you a bicycle. <laughs> ah! It's from Max, an old buddy of mine. Boy, now I know I belong here. I'm talking to dogs. <laughs> That sounds tempting. Yeah, now that I've settled down. Yeah, I'd be crazy to even think of it. Right, boy? You know, somehow I knew you'd agree with me. What do you say we keep this our little secret? Okay. Sit down and eat your dinner, Betty Jo. Oh, Mom, I was just saying. I know what you're up to. The minute Steve comes through those drapes, you're all going to pounce on him and say, what was in the telegram? Mm -hmm. Now, let's behave like grown-ups, shall we? And if Steve wants us to know what's in that message, he'll tell us. Understood? Yeah. Hi, everybody. Sorry I'm late. Mm. That's all right. Everything's still warm. Yeah, Steve. You got here just under the wire. <laughs> Steve, I bet you'd like to...
to have some chicken. I sure would. Know how I guessed? Mental telegraphy. <laughs> That's telepathy and eat your dinner. <laughs> You heard what Kate said. If Steve wants to tell us what's in that telegram, he'll do it without your hinting. <laughs> oh, that's all right, Mrs. Bradley. I, I wasn't going to mention it at all, but... Well, there's no secrets around here. Well, what does it say, Mom? so-and-so come out of hiding great opportunity join me in cascade valley and let's scoop up some loot your old flying buddy max max yeah max donahue oh we were quite a foursome max paul chuck and me down in florida imagine now i hear from max clear up in cascade that's the way it happens you get a dynasty rolling they come and try to horn in on your success. <laughs> well, Max is an old friend. Honey, you didn't hear from this old friend before we got our empire going. This Max is trying to steal my best pilot. Your only pilot. <laughs> Give me a chance, Kate. An acorn didn't turn into a eucalyptus overnight. <laughs> you wait, you'll see the day when the skies are dark with Carson Elliott planes. The air will be so crowded the birds won't have room to fly. They'll have to do their flying indoors. <laughs> right, Steve? Steve, you aren't thinking of accepting this offer, are you? I mean, going away? Well, Max and I were a pretty good team. And besides flying, there's nobody better at promotion, sales, developing contacts. Well, it sounds as if you already made up your mind without even discussing it with... with anybody. Take it easy, Billy Joe. I'm staying here. I was just kidding. Well, I'm glad that's your idea of a joke. What's got into her? She's in love, stupid. <laughs> well, that's no excuse. I didn't take it that bad when Crabbo Corners whipped us 28 to nothing. Excuse me, I better go after her and tell her. What am I going to tell her? Tell her you're staying. Huh? Tell her your buddy Max is joining you here. Is there any reason why your friend can't do all that selling and flying and promoting right here in Woodville? Well, I, uh, uh... No. No, that wouldn't work at all. Suit yourself? Come on, girls. Uh, two pilots, two planes. I could increase my dynasty 100% just like that. <laughs> yeah. Telegram from Max Donahue. Max, report to the operations office. Cascade Airport operations. Look, lady, your husband's 8,000 feet over Pyamoop by now, bucking a storm. Now, for the tenth time, if it's that important, I'll come over and kiss you goodbye. <laughs> Jeff. I would have been here sooner, but you caught me with my valve clog. Oh, that's Steve Elliott. What's wrong? Well, I invited him to come here. So what does he do? He comes back with some crackpot scheme to have me close up my operations here and team up with him in some outlandish place called um, Hooterville. Hooterville? <laughs> Rand must have sneaked that one on the map when McNally wasn't looking. <laughs> What's up? You know, I just noticed the signature. This isn't signed by Steve at all. It's signed by Joseph Carson, chairman of the board, Carson Elliott Airlines. You know, he may have a pretty good thing going there after all. Oh, wait a minute. You're not going to team up with that Steve again. Oh, Jack, Steve and I are just buddies. I'll bet. Draw me up a flight plan to Hooterville. You're not going. Well, what about us? Well, that's a very good question. What about us? For the last three years, all you've been doing is spinning your wheels on the runway. <laughs> See you around, Jack. Boy, oh boy, 
that does it. What's the matter with you? I just put that guy in number eight and look at the tip he gave me. The buffalo's still winsome. <laughs> just be thankful. For the first time in months, we're completely filled up. We're what? Not a vacant room in the house. Oh, my gosh. Where are we going to put Max? That's Steve's crop dusting friend. I sent for him. You sent for him? I thought Steve said it wouldn't work out. Well, that's where he needs me. Now, Steve's a good pilot, but a dynasty needs brains. <laughs> I'm going to force myself to pass up that opening. <laughs> well, maybe Uncle Joe has a good idea at that. I mean, with Max here, Steve wouldn't have any reason to leave. No, I guess not. But it's too late to do anything anyway. We just have to find him a place to stay. Max can bunk with me. I can fill him in with some of our major problems. Such as? Like a uh, name for our company. Carson Elliott Donahue Enterprises Corporation. Carson Donahue Elliott Enterprises Corporation. Hey, I got a great idea. Carson Enterprises Incorporated. Jay Carson, president. Hey, that's got a good ring to it, huh? Mm, ring like that to drive him back right where he came from. <laughs> no, I think that uh, Max should share a room with his buddy Steve. Mom, you always figure everything out just right. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get him up to Mrs. Trumbull. She has a terrible headache. What are you doing here? Uh, well, uh, I remembered I shortchanged you a dime last week, and my conscience just wouldn't rest till I brought it to you. Uh, here you are. Mm -hmm. What's up and what's that? Oh, well, well, what, well, what's this? Oh, this is uh, Max's luggage. I thought the least I could do is carry it. He can't carry his own? Uh, well, uh, Kate, things ain't quite the way you... I, I mean, he ain't a... a uh, oh, boy. Uh, Kate, meet Max. Max? Oh, those are for Mrs. Trumbull. Whatever she's got, mine is worse than save the rest of the bottle for Billy Joe. Huh? Mrs. Bradley, Steve said you were expecting me. I was. But I was expecting a Max like this. Not a Max like... Well, that's short for Maxine. Uh, Max or Maxine, I'd better get these aspirins up to Billy Joe. And then give, give, give a couple to Mrs. Trumbull, huh? Watch yourself, shortstop. You're riding for a fall. Don't look now, but that makes two of them. Max? Hi, Steve. Max, what are you doing here? Don't you ever check with the president of your company? That's Max? <laughs> <laughs> the telegram I received. It was supposed to be kind of a surprise. Oh, why is this a surprise? Steve, you never happened to mention Max as a girl. I didn't? I? Uh, no, I guess I didn't. Well, I, I guess it didn't seem to be much point. I mean, well, why open a can of... Look, I mean, uh, well, I just don't think of Max as a girl. To me, she's a, a fellow pilot, a buddy. Right, Max? Why don't I get an engineer buddy like that? Boys, what time is the train doing Pixley? What train? <laughs> oh, you mean the cannonball. Uh, Floyd, let's go. Floyd, that's a flyer. And us being railroad men, flyers is our enemies. Boy, if that's an enemy... Maybe we're on the wrong side. My boys. Max, uh, we're very happy to have you here. Well, thank you, Mrs. Bradley. What's the matter with Charlie and Floyd? They walked by in a daze like they didn't see me. They had the same look on their face when they came out of the Pixley bid you after seeing that Theater Bear cavalcade. <laughs> well, how do you do, young lady? Yes, Uncle Joe. This you don't is... need to explain, Kate. I get the picture. Excuse me. Get rid of her tank. <laughs> Young lady, I know you got your heart set on staying at the fabulous Shady Rest Hotel. But like usual, we're full up. Now, this here fellow lives here. He's expecting his friend Max. We're so short of rules that when Max gets here... Uncle Joe, <laughs> this is Max. Max is going to have to share, share a room with one of the girls. I'm glad to meet you, Max. You've got to...
not to believe me, Billy Joe. I did not know she was coming. You also didn't explain she was a she. But I told you why. I didn't explain it because I, well, I was... Chicken the word you're groping for. Look, I'm going to tell her this was all a big mistake and to pack up and leave. Oh, no, you can't do that. I want to do it. You're just saying that. You don't really want her to leave. I do. You don't. I do. You don't. I do. You don't. Okay, I don't. Quitter. Couldn't protest one more time. You know, Mac, when I first seen you as a girl, I got a terrible letdown. I'm sorry. Don't let that bother you. Maybe we can turn that liability into an asset. See, you being uh, not exactly ugly and Steve being a nice-looking fella, it'd be a shot in the arm to our crop dusting dynasty. Dynasty? I uh, never got around to explaining that part of it, Max. Yes, sir, that's just the touch our flying corporation needs. A little romance. <laughs> oh, Joe. You see, Steve, even Kate's impressed. We've got two women on our side already. Now, this is how I figured out it's going to work. Max, you'll be in your plane. Steve, you'll be in yours. You'll be flying side by side over the valley, a hole in hands and a spray in bugs. And trailing out behind will be this big banner which reads, Steve and Max, Sweethearts of Crop Dust. Uncle Joe, have a donut. <laughs> Amazing place. You know, we've had a midnight snack, a nice long talk, and uh, <laughs> it's not even 10.30. Get a good night's sleep. First thing in the morning, we'll check the planes and start scaring up some business. Oh, since I'm from out of state, won't I need an ag pilot's license? That's right. You'll need one if you're handling pesticides. But that's no problem. We'll fly to the state capitol the first thing in the morning and get you squared away. Oh, everything sounds real great, Steve. But tell me something. What about this Uncle Joe character? He fit in. He sure's a talker. He's indispensable. He furnishes the headwind so we can get off the ground. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Steve. Max, yes. once we get the license at the state capitol, I know everything will be just perfect. Good night, Good night. Steve. Anything. Mom, you gotta stop them. Stop who from what? Steve and Max are going to get married. What did you say? I said Steve and Max are going to get married. Oh, yeah, I could have sworn you said Steve and Max are going to get married. <laughs> married? But Max just got here. They couldn't possibly. But I heard them. They were right outside my door. They're flying to the state capitol to get a license. Oh, honey. I'll admit that you had me shook up for a minute because. When you woke me up, I was dreaming, too, th that I'd won the Irish sweepstakes, and I couldn't find the ticket. And then I remembered that I put the ticket in Uncle Joe's old vest. Well, he'd taken it to the cleaners. So we rushed over to Pixley, but we were too late. The store was closed. The cleaner had sold the store and bought himself a seat on the stock exchange, and you'd think you have bad dreams. <laughs> Mom, Steve is not the kind of a young man to pull a stunt like this. And look at Max. Why, she's the... Uh, she, she's... Maybe we should just concentrate on Steve. <laughs> and if it wasn't a bad dream, you must have misunderstood. Maybe you're right. I, I sure hope so. Well, thanks, Mom. Yeah. Hello, dear. Jack, forget all that. Get to the point. Did you locate Steve Elliott or Max Donahue? They filed a flight plan to where? The state capitol. Good great. Oh, no. Oh. Before I seal it up so you can't read it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, Kate, it can't be that bad. It is. We're flying back immediately. Prepare for 
your wedding. Steve, poor Billy Joe. What's going on? Uh, Billy Joe, c come over here. I'm going to try and tell you this is very calmly. Now, you remember last night when you thought you heard something and I proved to you that you didn't hear it, you heard it. Huh? <laughs> well, let me put it this way. We... Read it. I knew it. I knew this would happen the minute she walked in the store. I knew it. Now she's going to be going on my honeymoon with Steve, and here I am, an old man. <laughs> Don't feel so bad, Billy. Bobby and I will stay old maids with you, won't we, Bobby Joe? <laughs> of course we will. Oh, girls, let's not go overboard. <laughs> hey, try. Billy Joe, come off easy. She only lost a future husband. I'm losing the whole aircraft dynasty. How do you figure that? Well, now that Max is going to be a wife, she's not going to be a pilot very long. I know women, you can't trust them. She'll neglect her flying to fuss around the house trying to be a housewife. The first thing you know, it's too late. She's got a house full of kids. Oh, how could she do this to me? She's having my children. <laughs> I know that this is a terrible blow, but we got to make the best of it. Come on, honey. That's my girl. Now, in order to take our minds off of all of this, let's start preparing for the wedding. Oh, boy, Mom, you sure took her mind off it. Well, there's Steve. Here you go, Mom. Max Donahue, why couldn't you have been my Billy Joe? Hey, Kate, I hate to say it, but asking Max to come here was the biggest mistake we ever made. We? Listen, chairman of the board, who was it that kept yammering about needing two pilots for his dynasty? And who was it that sent the wire to bring Max here? Well, have you got anything to say? Somebody in the lobby. Hi, anybody here? It's Steve. We're back. Well, let's go greet the happy couple. Well, not me, Mom. I can't face the woman who stole my intended brother-in-law. I can't either. I don't know whether I can stomach to face the man that left me with a dangling dynasty. Hi. Did you get my wire? Oh, yes. We got it. Mom. Billy Joe. Hey, Billy Joe, wasn't that a great idea of mine, having a wedding right here at your mother's hotel? What's with her? What's with her? Of all the places in the world you had to pick this hotel? Oh, I thought you'd be glad to get the business. Oh, you sure gave us the business, all right. <laughs> we'll try to make it as nice as possible. When is the happy event? Well, why don't you ask the groom? Well, here's the happy couple now. <laughs> Hi. 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 The, the, the happy couple? You mean she and he? You and Max aren't? They're the ones who... <laughs> Jack and Max have had a thing going for years. Billy Joe! Billy Joe! Yes, Mom? Come on down. I got some wonderful news about the wedding. Mother, how can you be so happy at a time like this? Billy Joe, meet Jack Marshall. Crazy guy flew in all the way from Cascade for the big event. Well, how exciting. Wait a minute. Jack flew in to marry Max. You mean she and he? You and Max are... They're the ones who... <laughs> you can tell she's my daughter. <laughs> and if I had gotten the wild idea that Steve was after her, I'd still be back in Cascade, spinning my wheels. <laughs> Congratulations, Steve, for not getting married. <laughs> Congratulations, you two, for getting married. Thanks, Billy Joe. And Jack and I would be delighted if you and Steve would stand up with us at our ceremony. We love it. And now, if you'll all excuse me, I think I'll freshen up a bit. Jack, you can share a bunk with me. Come on, I'll show you our room. You better now? You know something, Mom? That Max is a real nice guy. <laughs> all right, soldier. Drop and give us six. Six hours, that is. Watch Sunday in the Barracks, a whole morning of Hogan's Heroes and the Phil Silver Show. Tomorrow morning, starting at 6 a.m. Eastern, 3 Pacific, right here on TV Land. Now stay tuned for Green Acres as Hooterville Saturday continues here in TV Land.
Junction.